Hair wash day. One day, when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but Mummy said me and Daddy could play a little. OK, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. Is Willie going to play as well? Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. First, okay. Daddy okay. head okay. first. No peeping, he said. One, two, I counted to ten, oh, no. but I couldn't oh. quite stop peeping. Eight, nine, ten, brush it up. Here I go. I found Daddy behind the sofa. Willie's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No peeping. Nine, ten. Willie was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Willie. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Willie are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten. OK, you ready? King Willie, seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Willie open their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? They look for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Well, she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tig? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh dear. Found you, Tig. No wonder we couldn't find you. You moved hiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut. No peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping! All done. No more stings. <laughs> hey, Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> Yeah, Rubber Dubba! I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Come on before the bath gets cold. Why should we go to wash Willie's hair as well? That's time, said Mum. Mummy washed my hair. I closed my eyes tight. Cold, what? Like in hide and seek. I think it's too hot. One dubba dubba, two rubber dubba, three rubber dubba, four rubber dubba, five rubber dubba, six rubber dubba, seven rubber dubba, eight rubber dubba, nine rubber dubba, ten rubber dubba, and swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash, and Mummy jumped. Don't worry, Mummy. Oh, and my toy spider. Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willie. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willie. I love Willie. Guess it's me, Willie. Baby bed. When I was little, a baby came to stay for the day. I was very excited. So was Willie. And I made my little house ready to play. Look who it is. It's Baby Ben. I like Baby Ben. Do you have a little look for me underneath Baby Ben's buggy and see if you can find a toy for him to play with? Baby Ben came with lots and lots of things. Nappy. Nappies. Wet wipes. Wipes. Ooh. 
clothes. Baby Ben didn't have many toys. Yeah! Found it! Just a squeaky thing. <gasps> Look! I wanted to show Baby Ben my toys. Mummy said no. He's only a baby. No, he isn't. Can he come to tea in my little house? I said. Mummy, can Baby Ben have tea in my house? <laughs> well, no, because Baby Ben's just very little. No, said Mummy. I think it's time for Baby Ben's nap. Time for a nap, Baby Ben, said Mummy. Baby Ben isn't much fun. I waited for Baby Ben to go to sleep. When Baby Ben was asleep, I asked Mummy if she would like to come for tea. Mummy, would you like to come and have tea? No, sorry, Tig. I've just got a few things to catch up on before Baby Ben wakes up. Mummy said no. Oh, I said, and played with my car. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> said Mummy. You wake Baby Ben. Mummy likes the baby more than me, I said to Wooly. I could be a baby too, just like Baby Ben. Tig, shh, he's sleeping. I wish Baby Ben would go away. Suddenly, Baby Ben woke up again. Oh, dear. come on. Tig, Tig, could you please move your toys? Mummy's grumpy, I said to Willy. Hey, Tig, Mummy's not grumpy. Mummy's just busy with Baby Ben. Come on, we'll give her a hand. Clean nappies. We'll need one of those. Baby wipes. We need them to make Baby Ben nice and clean all over. Clean clothes for Ben. <laughs> hey Tig, and there's Ben's drinking bottle. Mummy will miss that. Off you go Tig. Helping Mum's fun. Here, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Mummy, here, Mummy. Here's a nappy for Baby oh, Ben. Oh, clever girl. And because you've been so good, you can help me change Baby Ben's nappy. Uh, yeah. Because guess what? Can I help Mummy change Baby Ben? <laughs> mummy, here, Mummy. Put the baby right Oh, here. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mummy, here's, here's Baby Ben. Trousers. Oh, that is so helpful, thank you. We made him all nice and clean again. It's only my toy spider to be there. <laughs> I like helping Mummy. I like Baby Ben too. I love Willy. Oh, that's nice. I guess it's the Willy. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too. But they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Body monsters. Hairy monsters. Blue monsters. <laughs> And lots of red monsters. We had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. 
I love Timmy's monsters. And night night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra ra ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No, no more one. monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willy. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willy my monsters. I didn't think Willy liked my monsters. No, Tig. I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there. One daytime monster. Now... At night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. <sighs> night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters, look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I love my toy spider. Your toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night, we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Willy slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willie liked it there too. One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, can baby Ben borrow your cot? Okay, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bits. He took off one end, he took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot bits. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. 
than that. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cop? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cop behind the armchair. Tig. I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hi, Tig. Changes are scary, but you know what? Changes are fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Ta -da -ta -ta, ta -da -ta -ta. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. There. Hey, I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. Have some fun and change your room. Hey, and you'll make baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. And I can have fun changing my room around. Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? I don't see my toolbox. Oh! Daddy found Willie in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox. It's my toolbox. Who is it? Oh, it's only Willie. I like my room. And I like changing things. Really? We've been scared since we were here. Excited! When I was little, I went to a festival. Wooly came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. So still, a seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. Ooh, there's a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. <laughs> I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like... 
a balling over. Being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> Being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue saw Willie. She moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willie. Guess who will be? The birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat at the back for Willie. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said. I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willie likes my new bike too. That night, I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops. Round the fountain, past the playgrounds, I pushed my bike along. Going downhill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig. Pushing a bike is OK, but riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig! Some 
sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the pedal... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought, so Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie. Castle. Right, Tig, where shall we When I was little, I went to the seaside. We had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. <laughs> Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tick! Picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. There's not sand in your sandwich, is there? There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sand castle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I love my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. <laughs> no, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish, what magic shape. Swish, the sand will make tomorrow. Swish. But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought.
thought. My mermaids and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaids. Bye-bye, castle. On our way back to the car, Wooly and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Wooly was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig. Come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaids and her castle. And I love Wooly. I love Wooly and Wooly loves me. We've been together since we were wee.